Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. As we can see, the Australian dollar remains steady as the bullish trend continues to consistently create higher highs and higher lows daily. And from there, could eventually see the market push through that key level, which is around 68.3550. However, the market still seems to be finding some resistance around the 68 cent mark. With any pullback, I anticipate demand from around the region of 66.80 and slightly higher around 67.35 as minor. Turning to the euro, the market stabs at its top side level of 109, and this now being the second consecutive attempt could see the market break through and look on towards 109.55 to 110.15 as the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, was around 104.25. This week, the market focus turns to the Fed Chairman Powell's speech at the Economic Club of Washington, D.C., with expectations for audience questions. Along with that, the European Central Bank, or the ECB, is expected to announce its interest rate decision, which is widely anticipated to remain unchanged at 4.25%. Any pullback for the euro, I anticipate support around 108.20. Having staged two consecutive down days, the market did take a brief stab at the 158 level, but closed above there. Nevertheless, the bearish pressure is on this region, and a break of 158 should open the way down towards 156.40.60 as a potential target. Any upside attempts should find resistance now, capping around 159. After a stellar performance for three consecutive days, Sterling puts in the slight profit taking and now pulls back slightly from the region of 129.80. Nevertheless, the market is still somewhat bullish, so therefore I feel support holding around 128.5 to 129.15 could see a push through 130 and look on towards the top side target around 131 as a broader call. Spot gold continues to hold steady, supported by a relatively weak US dollar, and now looks towards its target of 2,450. I do anticipate from the May highs may see a bit of profit taking, but still overall from a broader case, the market could actually rally on to 2,500. With any pullback likely to be shallow and support seen around 2,400. And wrapping up with oil, the market still weighs on this key support level seen around $80.40. Now a break there would give further scope to the downside, and look towards the region of 78.80 to around 77.40.60, where I've highlighted here. Any upside attempts, the market's still likely to be capped around $82 a barrel. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me, and as always, look out for the intro report, and I hope you enjoy the great start to the day.